for IFP in Kozul Natal is addressing the media on its election strategy. Let's cut live to those proceedings in Durban. Life has become difficult. Now, anybody who doesn't recognize that difficulty is living in a parallel universe, an ivory tower of ignorance. And I doubt that it's Parliament who should be at the forefront of championing that ignorance by shutting down debate. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, Mr. Hunt. My name is, my name is Bongani Hunt from the Independent Media. I understand you very well when you're saying that uh, the, 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 the discussion over, over the issue of land has not been finalized, but the fact is the public hearing on the issue of land are already under, in fact, involvement that they've come and gone. I mean, for sure, the IFP should have a position on the issue of expropriation of land without compensation. My interest is to know what is the position of the IFP. Is it, does it support the expropriation of land without compensation? Let's put aside the issue of the Wanyama Trust. I understand your position when it comes to that. I just want to understand that. And, uh, and, and another question is the is the issue of uh, of of this all of these five key issues uh, that uh, that you want to be subjected to review. I think if I understood you correctly, like these are the issues that are very important and uh, they are the basic issues of a of, of, a, of a human being yeah, of, a South Af of a South African. But we we haven't been hearing you. Maybe maybe it's me who had, who had not been hearing you loud speaking loud enough to express your opinion on these issues, either in Parliament or anywhere. Why are you raising them now? Is it because you want to use them for campaigning reasons, or, or are you going to continue talking about them beyond election, even if you do not win uh, the elections? Well, I think my answer to that would be, uh, Mr. Hans, is that yeah, you haven't been listening to us. <laughs> that's my uh, that's my short answer. You haven't been listening to us uh, because maybe you have many other things uh, you know to, to, to listen to from other South Africans. If they take us out in the media, in the media. But if you pick up Hansard, which is uh, uh, there for public consumption, uh, Hansard has a record of all that we say in Parliament. Which and, you don't report. Which you don't report. <laughs> and, I, and I can assure you that the IFP has engaged and debated on every single vote in Parliament. I make sure they do so as a chief whip. Although we are few in numbers, but everything, even if we don't serve on a particular portfolio committee, we speak to that. And the unfortunate thing about the way democracy works and the way parliament works is that the IFP gets three minutes to speak and the ruling party gets 30 minutes to speak. And of that 30 minutes, 28 minutes of what they say is written by officials. They write it and give it to them. So they come there and we have to sit and listen to what we heard in the committee. But if you take the time and look at what we say on all these issues, it's nothing new. But we are reinforcing it. We're going back to the public to say, are we on the right track and are we not on the right track? And the, 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 the task of every political party is to engage with your constituents. So this is an engagement process with our constituents, which happens not once in five years, but happens on a daily basis. Because every day we are hearing things from our constituents. On the land issue, the IFP policy as we stand today, we believe in expropriation. We believe in expropriation. It is necessary to expropriate land for certain public purposes. But we say expropriation with compensation. And we need to be really, really convinced uh, by these public hearings, which we haven't even analyzed at this moment in time, or anybody else, that we need to change our position. But we have asked our committee to re unpack, look at pros, look at cons, so that when the committee's report comes before Parliament, which it's going to do in probably in the next four to six weeks or so, then we go there with an informed position, speaking on behalf of our constituents. So these are not new items. It's not for election. But in any case, 
journalists should know more than anybody else that every political party exists to grow their support base, to win elections. So every day we'll be saying things to win elections and we'll be listening to people and saying it on their behalf because we've been mandated to say it on their behalf. Thank you.